Let's talk about dosage. What's, what's average dosage for your 10 course tasting? And my how do you regulate that? Yeah, my average dosage is 10 milligrams. I don't. For the um, whole for the dinner? For the entire dinner. Really? And it's crazy people's reactions. There's people <laughs> that come up to me in the beginning that are like, what the fuck is this? 10 milligrams? That won't even like tickle anything. And I'm like, okay, but edibles are different. Just, just go through what we're providing. Yeah. And also, we're not here to get you just fucked up. You can do that on your own. Yeah. Like, I didn't, I didn't just spend 16 straight hours prepping with my entire team so that you're on the floor <laughs> not even remembering what I just served you. Like, that's not the point of it. And yeah. if you do want that, I encourage you to do whatever you want in another place. Generally, I start around 30 milligrams for um, four courses and a cocktail. We want it to be palatable, pun intended, to the masses, and for everyone to feel like, you know, I could, I could find a place in this, I could have a four course or a 10 course meal, and have great food and have a great THC or CBD experience, right? So we want it to be, for the masses, we want everyone to engage, indulge. So, so, so interesting, so we, we do about 60 to 100. <sighs> Right? For ours? Just chat on me. And, and, and no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting. The reason we do this, right? <laughs> so the reason we do this is that you can't really overdose, right? You can get really <laughs> fucked up and freak out. I would just like to point out though, when you say like you can't overdose, that has a lot of things that come with it. Just a disclaimer, you, you like throwing up, getting the spins, getting paranoid and hallucinating That's is real. technically an overdose. That's real. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that you're going to but die. You need to live. Right, right. You're going to make it through. You can push <laughs> through it. It's not a huge deal. But you have to actually eat 40 thousand milligrams in order to um, have an adverse physical reaction yeah, so like and, and you will be full way before that. yeah in in four in minutes four right minutes. which four, means that you would die from chocolate poisoning before you got that far like we had one one woman that came and she was like oh i'm a little fucked up and i was like yo look around the room like you see what everybody you else are is doing not alone. and <laughs> And it, no, no, it just calmed her down. Like she was like, oh, I can't, if everybody else is chilling, what's wrong with me? Like, I'm good. So that's the great thing, like everybody else. And again, when this starts going legal, it's really gonna be a preference thing. And, and that's the great thing is we all have contrasting perspectives in a great way because just like not, nobody eats the same food, everybody's not eating at the same right. restaurant. We're not shopping at the exact same places, and that's what the landscape is gonna look like eventually. Everybody's gonna have their different kind of way to approach this, and you're gonna get to hopefully be able to walk into a restaurant or other things of that nature one day and be able to do this. Do you guys have any like favorite dishes to cook? Has there been anything that's like you get a request for that everybody wants? We do so many menus, and it's all so seasonal that we, I don't, we've done only a couple things like the same dishes, which is our lamb wellington. Um, nice. which is just fucking, oh. <laughs> it's like the saddles of the lamb, so it has a nice fat cap on both sides, and then we put this Middle Eastern rub, it's called hawaja, it's like a Middle Eastern seven spice, and then we wrap it in puff pastry, we bake it, and we, it's just medium rare. We put a lamb jus on it with a mint, mint chutney. It's just so simple, so fucking good. Oh. Who's, who's getting hungry? Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm on a <laughs> I haven't eaten lunch yet, bruh. The best thing I ever ate. Is someone gonna bring something out from the back? I always. There's one for everybody. You hey, get lamb. You get. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it's I, the only one thing that I do get requests is a brulee bread pudding mm -hmm. with a caramel sauce. Uh, one of the things I like to do is I like to recreate those dishes that I absolutely hated when I was a kid mm -hmm. and make it good for me. So that I think other people like. Bread pudding was wet, it's wet bread, dude. Like, what the <laughs> fuck I want with that? So I, I recreated it in a way it, that it has that brulee crunch on top, like a creme brulee, um, and it's custardy on the inside. And then that with some caramel sauce, you can't go mm, wrong with that. Can't, no way. <laughs>
Now, we, we touched on it before, right? Most edibles are all sugar-based products, yeah. right? 90 plus percent probably when you walk into a dispensary. What do you think the landscape's gonna look like once legalization happens next year here? Do you think something's oh, wow. gonna change? you think people are approaching it a little bit yeah. differently? I mean, I know the laws are gonna restrict certain things. Like, obviously, we can't make gummy-based things or things that kids will be attracted by. Can't do gummy bears, can't do, um, oh. you can't even do dairy, you can't right. do meats, Cheese, you can't butter. do, yeah, like, I mean, which is, absolutely ridiculous and we're going to be lobbying against that um, to to happen because one that's going to inhibit a lot of things that we can do at the restaurant and two it's going to be, inhibit a lot of the frozen meal stuff that we're doing for patients that above all else is you know what people should be focusing on is getting this in i mean first off food is medicine yep. and what we put into our body directly reflects our health and the environment that we're in. So if we're not putting good things into our body, then we're not gonna get healthy. And if we have THC and CBD in a healthy meal, giving them to patients that really need it, that just increases their chances of getting better. Um, and I mean, they've, they've seen, we all know what cannabis can do medicinally. The way that you ingest, though, makes a big difference. If you're smoking a blunt every day, no, <laughs> no offense to blunts whatsoever, but there is, like, that's like the least efficient way of smoking and getting anything out of that cannabis. And then the best way is a vaporizer, because you keep everything intact and all of it goes into your body, or about 60% of it, uh, the nutrients available will go into your body rather than like a blunt, which is at like three or 5%. Yeah. But what about ingesting it? Ingesting, ingesting it, that's however. where it gets interesting, is um, ingesting <laughs> can go up to 95% uh, nutritional retention. So like you can, that's, that's by far the best way to ingest cannabis is eating it.